Okay, so doing another repro review today, and this is the uh, Panther Store British Army Battle Dress Surge. Um, Panther do make other patterns of British Army Battle Dress, but this is the one I purchased. It's the most versatile because it's the earliest, and it was still in use at the end of the war. Uh, some men were still receiving this from stocks, so it's the most versatile. The other reproductions are roughly comparable to these in terms of quality and so forth, so you can take this uh, as a, an overview of their products as a whole uh, for British uh, battle dress, that is. Um, they do produce German uh, uniforms and things as well, which I can't vouch for, as I don't know. Um, so yes, we'll have a look at the blouse and the trousers here and um, see uh, what the quality is like. So we'll start with the blouse. Um, the overall look is excellent. The cut is superb. Um, the battle dress has been has clearly been modelled off originals. I, the Panther Store actually offer, offer the original uh, sizing options for battle dress. I take a size 10, as you can see in here, and it's made to size 10 reproduction label here, um, which is not bad. Um, get this to lay open. Um, the, the, the labels aren't made to be absolutely exact because obviously uh, you don't want these to be passed off as original but it's nicely uh, it's nicely done. It's not too close that it's going to be seen as um, real by anyone worth their salt in the collecting market but it's a nice feature, it's in the right place and everything like that. But as you can see they make these to the original battle dress sizes. Now, the the overall look is good. Uh, they're not too long in the body, which is quite often a problem with some reproduction battle dresses. Um, the cut, as I say, is good. The pockets on the battle dress surge are in the right place. Uh, they're sat at the right place on on the body. Unfortunately, I don't have an original battle dress surge um, to compare this to, uh, but it has been compared to an original in a friend's collection, and it is absolutely bob on. Obviously, with a very early battle dress, no, it's an unlined collar. The nomenclature that reenactors use to describe British battle dress is wrong insofar as there are three basic patterns of battle dress used during the Second World War. Battle dress surge, which is this, the early type with an unlined collar, pleated pockets, fly front, etc. Um, then there's 1940 pattern, which everyone assumes is the version with the exposed buttons, no pleats, etc. 1940 pattern is in fact very similar to this. The pockets are a slightly different position, the cut is slightly different, the collar is lined, but you still have the concealed buttons on the pockets, fly front and pleats. Just the lined collar essentially is the most obvious visible change. Then you have 1940 pattern utility or 1942 pattern, which is the one with the exposed buttons, etc. I will do a separate video looking at different patterns of battle dress. But this, it's, it's superb. It really is an absolutely excellent reproduction. It is almost without a doubt the best on the market. Um, the buttons are excellent as well. Uh, the one thing I did change, actually, if I can get this to focus, there we go, is the epaulette buttons. Um, they were originally the later denim type, with, which are a different shape. These are just the flat denim type, which you can find, you can pick up. Uh, but I say denim type, they're used on denims as well. These shank, uh, shank buttons replace them. If if they come with the, the wrong type of button you can replace them very easily and that's one minor feature for the earliest type of battle dress, battle dress surge, these buttons are correct. See I've just got uh, insignia on here, Saint Lieutenant Grenadier Guards. Um, the lining material is excellent, uh, the right colour. It's slightly off from the drill we've originally used but barely. Uh, obviously I've got this pressed open to wear with a shirt and tie um, but it does fasten to the collar and you have the two Hooks and hooks and uh, eyes at the top there to close the collar, uh, which is a, an excellent. It's the right shape and everything. It's cut just right. Uh, unfortunately, as I say, I don't have an original battle dress serge to compare it to. But one thing I can do is take this piece of original serge, and if we can get the camera to focus, you'll be able to see just how close the weave and colour is to this original piece here. It's absolutely spot on. It really is. The serge. This is. A lot of the battle dress, if you buy uh, original, you'll find it's worn down. This is just what the surge would have been like uh, originally, and Panther make their own surge. This is a f was bought a little while ago. I'm assuming the quality has not dropped. I'm assuming the cloth is still the same quality, etc. Um, if it is, I, as I say, I can highly recommend this battle dress. So that's the blouse. Um, 
One other little feature of the buckle is spot on for the early battle dress surge, just a simple simple wire buckle there. Um, and it is made to a size 10, it fits me perfectly just as original size 10s do. You can also have your battle dress made to measure, which is another feature. You have to wait a little bit longer for that. Um, but yes, it is by far and away the, the best uh, battle dress reproduction on the market. So uh, we'll have a look at the trousers now. Again, they're very good as well. And uh, give, you, uh, give you an overview of those. So here we have the trousers. Um, and as you, again, you can see the uh, reproduction label here. Uh, which is a nice feature, although the the blouse does button on to the trousers using these buttons here, you can still see a little bit of the label, uh, and you do see it in original photos occasionally. So it's nice to have that there. A bit of uh, accuracy again. It's not um, accurate to the point where someone in the know is going to think these are original. Um, the buttons again are very good. As I said, with the blouse, they're, they're uh, the right shape, right size. Nice dishing to them. A little bit rough around the edges, but. Uh, they're newly stamped, so that's not surprising really. Um, belt loops, uh, the pattern is, is spot on. They're made, see with the back pocket here again with the concealed button, map pocket on the leg with the concealed button, um, straight side pockets in the seams, uh, button fly, and the correct number of buttons. Um, and the stitching is good, I don't believe I've had to restitch any of these buttons, even the brace buttons, which often do pop off, just two as is correct, uh, I believe, for the earliest issue of Battle Dress Trousers. As I can say these are Battle Dress Surge. The lining material, again, excellent, really good colour to it. Um, the weave is very slightly different from the original drill used, but not far off at all. Uh, and you don't see the lining generally. Uh, anyway, the first field dressing pocket here, single pleat, uh, again, excellent, um, holds first field dressing. The right size, the right shape. Uh, the um, did I was this shortened slightly? I don't remember. I think now this is stretching my memory back a little bit. This was ordered a few years ago when Panther first went into production, and one issue we we had two issues with this battle dress. I was one of the first in our group to order this, and it was kind of a trial. One issue was the pocket. The first field dressing pocket was slightly too long. I think they they'd taken the length off a single pleat version from the 1940 or 1940 utility, utility uniform. Uh, the single pleat version is shorter, so that was shortened by um, a friend of mine. And the other issue we had, which has now been rectified, was the early trousers have tabs to close the, the ankles, and these were actually sewn on the wrong way around, and then therefore had to be switched. I think I've, I've one button I've popped off is, is the, the tab button here, which needs replacing, and the other side it's got both. Uh, but that was the only thing that needed modifying, and we, Panther, were informed of this. And on the next battle dress ordered from them by another group member, the problems had been rectified. So, it they responded very quickly, and uh, since then, I believe production has been spot on. So that was the only issue with this. If say it was a first order, and props to Panther for, um, you know, modifying the design slightly, mod modifying the reproduction slightly to. Uh, to uh, better fit originals um, and as I say these have been compared against an original pair of battle dress serge trousers and they really are absolutely bob on. It's worth uh, pointing out that even when the reproduction is worn alongside original battle dress serge um, it's very difficult to tell the difference um, You can and you can mix and match. I've worn reproduction trousers with original blouse the other way around uh, and it's very difficult to tell and so my advice would be to anyone entering the hobby, if you're going to buy, the first thing I would suggest buying, no matter what unit you're going to portray in the British Army, buy a set of Battle Dress Surge from Panther Store. It's applicable through, it's wearable through 90, 1939 through 1945. You still see it being worn at the end of the war. You don't have to even put insignia on it necessarily, so you can use it for anything. Even if you're doing airborne uh, or similar uh, units who had specialized clothing, Battle dress surge is a good basic uniform. Obviously, the trousers are still necessary, even with a with a Denison smock, for example. But they wore a blouse underneath anyway. First purchase, my suggestion would be a set of battle dress surge from Panther Store. It really is absolutely excellent. So um, I hope you've all found that interesting, uh, and I hope it's been of use to some people who might be starting out in the hobby or those who want to improve their kit. Um, and as I say, uh, until next time, bye for now.